Yo, what is good, my anime people? What is good, yo? Guys, I got two anime I really need to talk about, and we gonna talk about it. Okay, okay. So, first, let's get into JoJo. Such a beautiful, well-contained episode. My God, Golden Wind, what are you trying to do to me? The only reason why I'm not using my boy Dio is because this map wasn't a knight, so I couldn't use him. But anyway, guys, they literally did this assassin so dirty this week, man. Oh my god. Like, I've seen some pretty messed up things for characters, but for this man to straight up continuously push the fight on something that he probably could have retreated and knew a lot more information than he already needed to know pretty much gets defeated by two things he said he would not do and I think this is probably the one time I've actually been disappointed in an outcome in in JoJo's like actual like fighting in in the sense because I don't know. It it felt very um uh like out of character for this assassin to lose this way because not only did he know he couldn't get excited and that if he did get excited he would probably lose. He goes and gets excited when he starts to figure out the personality switching and that he's been taught this, um, you know, this dope role guy's been talking to himself this whole time and getting, you know, everything he's probably been saying out loud, though, has been giving him a clue that there's a there's a bigger and stronger power at hand helping him can do all this. He isn't necessarily talking to himself, but he's actually getting a new perspective from himself as well um so with that being said he kind of figures that out a little bit later after he tries to chop off the bad guy's foot and winds up having his own foot chopped off because of uh him being able to see what was going to occur and thinking of just what he could do in the nick of time pull something off so it's very interesting in that regard, but at the same time, um, we're only getting so much of the information because I feel like there's still a lot uh, that needed to be just overall shown with his character. Like, he needed to be shown to be able to do things that weren't really, um, like, explained during the fights, <clears throat> which... Not only did he switch his personality and kind of lose a lot of power of his Crimson, but instead it kind of became an ability that was more of a latent effect than an active one. Like, he couldn't just necessarily <clears throat> activate it without it, like, coming out of his forehead or whatever, you know, or at least being told that he has the ability to do it that's the only time he started to do it we did see some instances where the face wasn't sticking out of his forehead and he was doing some of the moves so that was pretty uh that was pretty useful for the overall fact that he didn't need to just have it out like that to be able to uh, conjure up some like really crazy power so <clears throat> the other thing that really like shocked me about this is not only did we learn about this man stand and the magnetism and stuff, why is it that he straight up gets bodied at the same time we learn? Like, this is the thing about Ant. This is the perfect thing for everybody who never, like, really understood why some characters get absolutely bodied at the end of an episode, including when they... They had really more story that probably could have been told. We didn't even learn this guy's backstory or how he gained this ability or how he even wanted to fight. But to be fair, JoJo characters have survived relatively ridiculous stuff than a couple Nin bullet or uh, Stan bullet wounds. So uh, he might he might make the blood. Uh, since his blood was red, it still had iron in it, so maybe there's something he can do there. That's just me having hopeful uh, wishings for 
a character that we literally just got to meet. Oh my god, he got me dirty right there. And now all of a sudden he's gone, you know? So <clears throat> with how this whole entire thing kind of transpires is we see um, overall just, you know, who the boss is as this character and what he's capable of. But what we didn't see was the fact that he um, was growing. Like, as the power was getting more and more uh, accessible to this, like, kid version of himself, he literally was getting into position where uh, the boss was calling all the moves from the background, but they were the wrong moves. He was t calling out things that, you know, he saw from his perspective and necessarily couldn't even see what was going on with the, Emperor, the Crimson Emperor. So I think we might have just seen a little bit of another way the boss can actually be twice as dangerous. If this happens, I mean, it doesn't even need to happen. Uh, and he's still going to be like mad, ridiculously crazy. Um, but imagine now that he's gone through this, you know, this kid version of himself's gone through all of this. Imagine if he actually shows up and, you know, tries to help out uh, and he's in the background using his, like, you know, abilities just to assist this guy. I understand it's the same guy, but with him having the boss saying the things that he was saying, like, you need to get out of there. You can't do it. He's like, well, what if I can? Like, he started getting a little bit of confidence in himself and lost the confidence uh, or lost that he needed only the bosses say so to understand what was going to occur so with that being said it automatically put him in a better position to straight up uh, having a better chance literally to fight <clears throat> but at the same time it was the boss who didn't even expect to get such an outcome from this and because of it he makes another ridiculous god tier plan because the whole time the metal guy is talking i'm like bro he said he's gonna be there in seconds why are you still talking why are you still monologuing this kid's head should have been lobbed off a long time ago brother and when i started thinking about it, i was like the way this show works is the assassins gotta lose that's that's just my thought process at this point i'm like there's no way at the like Look how good he's doing. My lord. He even cut took that foot off that he had magnetism on and the the uh, scalpel that the kid found was attracted to the magnetism. So somehow he was using probably he was using some type of mag uh, like his mind you he was <clears throat> invisible. He was using the iron powder, but that's not going to attract other iron to him. That's why this show is so god tier. Like, who in their right mind would have actually thought that that's the reason why he he did all of that before? You know, he actually plays the boss, the man who's you know seeing things ahead of time. He still got played by whatever he did ahead of time, guys. So <clears throat> now. We're going to see a ridiculous amount of power coming out of the Emperor, uh, Emperor, or Crimson Emperor, excuse me, and with the with the personality being completely switched. Unless we learn a lot more about this whole body thing, and he doesn't take full control and just stay as himself, which would make more sense because when he left the maid, I'm pretty sure he switched into this body. Or like he dumbed down his body to be this other person that has a personality that, you know, isn't him at all. Or it's the polar opposite of him. And because of it, now we're looking at um, we're looking at him coming back and just going in on the whole crew. But to think that he just throws those needles or throws the scalpel and ends up throwing it perfectly where they are because he's already seen he's already seen what their ability i don't i don't remember him oh yeah he did say he located uh Buccietti, the airplane all of them so they're somehow he knew they were all there so um 
that that was pretty telling that they were going to just go all in on maybe bringing them to the forefront. And that's why I was saying that Assassin's character, it didn't make sense. Not only was he cloaked and stuff, sure he was breathing, but to think that he hadn't learned any information from the people that had died about the stands and that's why he was trying to get out of there as quickly as po or like finish it as quickly as possible now all of a sudden you're telling me he's just just chilling wanting to die like it just didn't make sense to me um but it did make sense that he had to go <clears throat> and it was his time you know so that that's kind of where that all seemingly came from but overall man ah it was it was brilliant it was all so good and it makes sense to kill off this character because for one, he is broken. I mean, even the boss himself's like, uh, make sure you kill him because we might never find him again. Once you see him once, you only see him that time. <laughs> like, this guy has the best mythos around him. Like, he is the scariest guy to even the gangsters. So, I'm, I'm fully on board with that. And then you got this whole entire notion that everybody who is with or against uh, the boss is going to just get bodied because of how we saw everything he could do and uh, predict. It's going to be really hard to be able to defeat him. But with that being said, my anime people, I hope you guys have an amazing day, night, evening, whatever the case may be. Bound by Stray Dogs has came out, guys, and it is amazing. It's only going to be 12 episodes, but my god is episode two fire so i can't wait to talk to you guys about it and if you are a jojo fan you're watching this thank you so much for the support and just for even clicking on the video but if you are going to subscribe here i definitely or if you just enjoy that i talk about jojo i would love to hear your guys' input on characters on jojo uh things that i should be looking forward to for jojo Things like that really get me hyped for this show because I know nothing of the manga and I want it to stay that way. Uh, but when I know little bits and details of what could be possible, <clears throat> excuse me, what could be possible, it really, really helps me uh, get into the mindset of changing and understanding what could even uh, be said in these videos so thank you so much again and i hope to talk to you guys in the comment section if not i hope you guys just have an amazing day night evening and i will talk to you soon all right peace